Hello, today we'll be discussing how to use the data collector in Image Pro. The data collector allows you to collect data from multiple images into a single table, and it gives you the option of collecting raw data, statistical data, or both raw and statistical data. The video assumes that you already know how to use the count size feature of the software. If you're not familiar with this, I suggest you go and watch our count size video for some background information. Okay, so let's start off by explaining where we find the data collector. So I've gone to the review tab here and here we can see the option to collect data and we can either collect from an individual frame or from all frames in an image sequence and that could be all frames from a live video feed. Here we have an option to set up automatic collection. We can clear the last collection or all the collections, so clear all the data from the data collector. Here we have an option to set up the types of data we're going to collect and we can save and restore our measurements list. Here we have an option to reset the data collector and here we have various different ways of displaying collected data including a graph, histogram or pie chart. Okay so let's first think about the types of data. So if I look here in this table we can see all the different sources, all the different data providers that we can use with the data collector and I'm particularly interested now in using measurements so I could scroll through this list and find the measurements that I want to collect. But there's an easier way of setting up the data collector. So if I go back to the count size tab, and I'm just gonna restore my measurements option, which I'm calling collector nucleus, and that should allow me to count. So let's execute my count. Here you can see I'm finding all the objects in my image. So I'm interested in the nuclei in this image. And if I display my data table, you can see that I'm looking for area, perimeter, and intensity mean. So I've already set those up in my types table here. So now that I have these measurements actually executed on my image, I can go back to my review tab, and if I hit this reset measurements list, and now look at my types, you'll see that this the data collector has now become synchronized with my measurements table, and I'm now gonna automatically measure my area, my perimeter, and my mean intensity of each object. Now that the data collector table is correctly configured, we can proceed to actually make some collections from our images. You'll probably notice there are various locations throughout the software where you'll see the option to collect to the data collection. For example, here in the 3D measure tab, we have an option to collect. In the measure tab, we can collect. And also in the count size tab, which is the tab I'm currently interested in working with, I see the option to collect. For each of these collection options, we've got a little drop down which allows us to configure the collection. So we have the option to collect from all frames. We'll make sure that all the frames of your sequences are collected. We have the option to clear the collector every time you hit collect, which is not something I wish to do right now. We have the option to clear measurements and we have the option to show the data collector table, which I'll leave selected. If I click on go to data collector it'll take me back to the review tab where I configured the data collector. So here as I have my measurements already made I can just now hit collect and you'll notice that my data collector table is displayed and you can see I've made one collection and it's measured all the appropriate measurements for each of my objects. So now I can go to my second image I'm going to restore my measurements options. I'm going to count my objects. And I'm going to collect. I'm going to do the same for my third image. So I'm going to restore my measurements options. I'm going to make a count and I'm going to collect. So let's take a quick look at the data collector table. So you can see here that I have, if I scroll through the table, you'll see that I've made three collections. And I could choose to group my measurements. So if I group them, by average, and let's group them by collection. 
and I collapse the table, you can see that I get uh, a count of objects in each of my collection, and I can see the mean object area for each collection, the mean perimeter, and the mean intensity. But I also have a lot of raw data in my table. And I may want to do the measurement of just the mean without all the raw data. So let's study how we do that. So let's quickly review our measurement types. So for each object, we're collecting data about the region area, the perimeter, and the intensity mean. And as I mentioned, we're accumulating a large amount of raw data by doing this. So we could deselect these measurement options. And if I go over to the left hand side here, I can see that from the measurements, I can choose to actually measure raw measurements, which is what we've been doing. I can measure measurement stats or measurement class stats. And what I want to do now is measure measurement stats. So I'm interested in my object area. So let's go down to region area. In the middle here, I have an option to summarize by various statistical options. I'm going to go for mean, and I'm going to add that to my data collector. You can see I have a new category here, which is measurement stats, and I'm going to be collecting the region area by mean. Let's take a look at our region mean intensity. So here we have region intensity mean. Again, I'm going to summarize by mean, and I'm going to add that to the data collector. And finally, let's look at my uh, bound in polygon uh, perimeter. Again, I want to see that by mean. So I add that to my data collector. So now I have measurement stats, area mean, intensity mean, and bound in polygon mean. Let's clear the measurements in the data collector. Go back to the count size tab. And as I already have made my measurements on each of my images, all I have to do now is hit collect. So that's my first image measured. I can do the same for image two. And finally, image three. Let's hit collect. And if we take a look at the data collector table, we can see in the image tab that we've made three collections. And if I look at my measurement stats tab, this is a tab that wasn't here before, I can see the mean value for each of the measurements I'm interested in. And in this case, I've acquired no raw data. So there's one more thing I'd like to show you how to do, which is how to use the automated uh, option on the data collector. So let's return to the review tab. I'm going to, again, remove everything from the data collector. And I'm going to switch on the automatic collection. And now, if I go back to my first image, let's uh, first of all go to the count size tab, let's clear the objects, and recount. And you'll notice that without me having to select the collect button, I've actually now made a collection in the data collector. Go back to the second image, let's clear my measurements, recount. And again, I make an automated data collection. And finally, on the third image I'm interested in, repeat my count. And I've now got three data collections and three sets of measurement statistics. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, please contact Media Cybernetics.